hey you guys how is it going it is sharika aka share and thank you guys for coming back and watching me share my life with you guys my journey through this debt freedom and some other things and just you know going through life welcome back i hope you guys have subscribed and make sure you press the like button down below and let's go on this journey today i wanted to talk to you about the four main things that you need when it comes to budgeting budgeting is not an easy thing to do it takes time to develop a budget it takes time to get used to a budget and it takes time to get a budget working for you i originally started budgeting probably five six years ago and i'll be honest i wasn't very good at it i'm a natural spender and so i was like you know i like to shop i like to spend and so it wasn't very easy for me to actually stick to a budget actually to create a budget because i was just spending money all over the place but there were some few valuable things that got me used to this actual practice of budgeting and i wanted to share those four things with you the first thing i did is i got an understanding of what in the world i was spending so i took i actually printed out the past three months of my bank statements my credit card statements my savings statements anywhere where i was spending money i printed out all three months and i just did an analysis over exactly what the heck i was spending i grouped the categories and i put them all together as far as like what i was spending on food not only just food i mean breaking down food into two separate areas groceries versus eating out um versus starbucks starbucks honestly needed its own category at that point and so i took all of my categories food clothing gas transportation public transportation um you know back when i wasn't budgeting it wasn't a thing to just you know if i forgot my train pass just pay for you know a train ticket because i wasn't really tracking my money so how much was i spending on those items how much was i spending on my daughter um back then she was still in school field trips um, just random clothing. My daughter is five foot eleven, so she grew like a weed. And so, just getting an understanding of what I was spending on items, and I t did that by looking at the last three months of my bank statements. I also took December because I wanted to see what I was spending on Christmas, and just getting an understanding of like, hey, Sharika, what are you doing here? You know what I mean? Like, what is the average amount of you know did you spend on christmas and what did you need to actually spend on christmas because honestly a lot of things that i was buying i really didn't need and so it's definitely good to get an analysis over what you have been spending know your numbers know what you're spending on electric well know what you're spending in gas like you know on average over the past three months it makes a big difference to actually look at those numbers and become comfortable with them um, because that's going to help you in the long run with your whole budgeting process is knowing your numbers and knowing what you are doing with your money. And when you know those numbers, you actually write them down somewhere. You either can put them in a calendar, you can put them in your Google calendar or whatever calendar you use, electronic calendar that you use. Um, there is a big planner community out there. You can put them on paper, put them somewhere where you know that you're gonna be able to see them. So your fixed bills, things that are gonna be the same every single month. Put those on the calendar and say, you know, on the 5th of every month, I know my car insurance is going to come out on the 20th of every month. I know my life insurance is going to come out. Look at your calendar and see when those things are going to come out. That's going to be the ultimate key to planning, especially those annual expenses or, you know, every two years. Know when you need to pay your registration. Pop that bad boy in your Google Calendar so that you can use it for planning and set like, a, you know, a, um, an alert for it to remind you two months ahead of time so that when you're actually budgeting, you can remember those items. Little things like summer camp, plan ahead for those. And we all know, and Dave Ramsey says it plenty of times, Christmas is every year in December. People don't tend to plan for those things. So, you know, put in your calendar. I need to save $50 a month or whatever in your calendar up until December or November so you can shop early um, but you want to do those things so that you can plan ahead so definitely put those things on a calendar all of your fixed expenses that you know are gonna happen the same time every year birthdays if you know you know you're gonna be spending for you buy gifts for certain people or you buy cards for certain people put those things on Mother's Day Father's Day 
grandparents day, whatever the day is, make sure those things are on your calendar so that you can plan accordingly when you're doing your budget. It's a trial and error thing, but you won't figure it out until you actually know your numbers and you start getting used to seeing them on a regular basis. With practice, you'll eventually figure it out and you'll get there. You just have to make sure you keep practicing. The second thing you're gonna need is a system to create your budget. I personally, I use Microsoft Excel. I'm a little lazy with it. I like for the numbers just to add up. I just want to plug in my numbers and I just want things to add up as I go. Um, I was actually given, I hired a budgeting coach several years ago and he gave me this spreadsheet. I've tweaked it over the years to make it specifically for me, the way I like it, colors that, you know, draw my attention. And so that it's something that I, I actually look at every single Saturday morning. I have a Saturday morning routine where I'm in that spreadsheet. I'm doing, I'm reconciling my budget. I'm creating my budget or I'm, I'm doing something in the morning. And so I see that spreadsheet. And so, you know, you're able to tweak it, but find something that is for you, something that you're going to be able to create your budget. I know Dave Ramsey has sheets that you can create your budget and plenty of people use those. Plenty of people use various planners, Eric Condren planners, Happy planners. If you go to Michael's, there's even budgeting planners out there that are cheaper than some of the, you know, the more expensive planners for you. But just figure out a system for you to actually create your budget in. You're taking your, you're able to jot down your income for the month and you're able to write down all the expenses that are going to be attract, subtracted from that income. And I suggest to do the zero base budget when you have your income and you plan out every dollar of your income till you get to zero. Making up, making that zero base budget is definitely helpful. And like I said in the first tip, it takes practice. So don't beat yourself up. You're gonna get there, trust me. But you wanna have a way to write down your budget, write down all your numbers and get in the practice of using that same system every month. You can try something, say you try Excel and you don't like it go to paper. It takes a couple of months to figure out what your thing is. Trust me, I've done paper, I've done Excel, I've done Google Docs or Google Sheets. Um, I've done everything. I've done various apps. Excel is what works best for me. So take your time and figure out what works best for you. The third thing you're going to need is you're going to need a way to track your spending. Obviously, tracking your spending is you're going to be aware of what is actually coming out of your bank account every month. And so, you know, people, I know people have a habit of just looking into their bank account, spending on a willy nilly, and at the end of the month, just trying to figure out. It's good to actually track as you go. Become aware of where the money is going as it's going out. It really makes it a live thing. Say, you know, you say you've got $100 budgeted for groceries and Today you want to go to Walmart and you spend about $62.89 in groceries. Um, I personally use an app. I use the app YNAB and you go in and I track. I need, I've spent $62.89 on groceries and that, you know, it subtracts it from that $100 and it shows me, okay, I have that left. So that's why it's important to track your budget so that you're actually knowing what you have left. First you've got a budget then you've got to actually track it to see how things are coming from the budget. Trust me, this is not an easy task and it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time to even figure out, you know, you're gonna play with it. Like one month you're gonna say, oh my gosh, $100 a month, that's impossible for me to budget. So the next month, tweak it or overestimate so that you can make changes as time goes. It's not um, an easy thing to do, but just take your time. And that's gonna lead me to the fourth tip is be patient with yourself. I know, you know, people say, okay, it takes 21 days to create a habit or, you know, three weeks, whatever. I have no one, you know, three weeks, three months, whatever. Me personally, it took me almost a year to figure out the perfect budget for me. Like I said, I started in Excel and I went to paper. I tried different apps. I tried, but you know, budget binders. I tried budget printables, right? And I finally, after a year, went back to that original spreadsheet tweaked it a little bit to the point where I liked it and I have been using it ever since. Of course, you know, I tweak it every once in a while because I like a little bit of spice and um, sometimes, you know, I'll print it out so I can see it, put it on my wall or whatever, but it's going to take some time. It's also going to take some time for you to figure out what your numbers are. You may think, you know, oh, okay, for the past three months I've spent $100 a month on groceries, 200 400 whatever. It's just me. 
it was just me and my daughter at one point. You may think, okay, you know, I spent $100 for the past three months and then you start budgeting $100. You realize it doesn't work for you. Move that bad boy up to $150. Find your perfect your perfect number for whatever your grocery budget is going to be, whatever your gas budget is going to be, whatever your, you know, um, fun budget is going to be. Find that perfect number and be patient with yourself. Give it some time. Don't think, okay, you know what, I'm going to go budget. I'm going to go hard at this. I'm going to be, you know, the perfect budgeter in a month and pay off, um, you know, a million dollars in three months. Yeah, some people do it. I wasn't one of those and I'm okay with that you know give yourself a little bit of grace in this journey uh, be patient with yourself be nice to yourself don't do not beat yourself up the fact that you've made this decision to even get on a budget trust me you are above so many people in this world and it's going to benefit you in the long run to recap you want to one know your bills and know when they are due and figure out a system of putting them somewhere so that you can be reminded of when they're going to be coming up Two, you need a system to create your budget, whether it's Microsoft Excel, paper, an app, or whatever. You want a system to actually create your budget. Three, you need a way to track all of your spending so that you know exactly what you're spending and subtracting it from what you actually budgeted. And four, you need patience. Be patient with yourself. This is not an easy journey, but you will get there. And trust me, the more you practice, the easier it is. At this point, it just, like I said, I spend 20 minutes every Saturday with um, all my finances and it's nothing to me anymore. It's easy. Like I said, be patient with yourself, you guys, and remember what your goal is. Your goal is ultimately financial freedom. Whatever that means for you, whether it's getting out of debt, whether it's having savings, whether it's just you know, not living paycheck to paycheck. Just remember your goal in this and just be nice to yourself and don't give up, you guys. So I will see you later. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. Tell me what are some of your biggest struggles when it has come to budgeting and creating that ultimate budget for you. Trust, let's have a discussion about this because trust me, I have been there. I know it's not easy. I will see you guys later. Bye.